Hey guys, thanks for checking out this 2017 Nissan Quest SV. It is going to feature a 3.5 liter V6 engine and it is front wheel drive. Um, this particular vehicle is going to have um, just under 84,000 miles on it. So again, a 2017, just under 84,000 miles. Gonna make our way around this vehicle, noticing all the features that it does have to offer. Make our way around again, noticing any sort of dents, stings, or imperfections you could expect to find on this particular vehicle. Can see that it is a silver color. Definitely has plenty of shine left to it with the clear coat. You do have your bottom fog lights here below. You can kind of see their outline in a little bit of black to give them a little pop. You also have the black and the chrome here for your front grille. As far as our tires are concerned, we do guarantee three quarter tread or better on all tires of all vehicles here at All Things Automotive. I will give you exact tire tread depths once we make our way inside the vehicle and take a look at the uh, inspection form signed off on by the service mechanic that worked on the vehicle. Can see here that you are going to have your proximity lock so you don't have to worry with taking your keys um, out in order to unlock the door. Simply have them on you and you will be able to enter. Can see you do have like a suede tan seat here. You do have a little bit of a design that runs down through the center. A little bit of wear and tear to the seat just from overall use but nothing that is abnormal. You are going to have manual adjustments as far as your seats are concerned, but you will have powered locks and powered windows here. It is still like a um, tannish uh, gray color as far as the interior is concerned. You'll have your storage compartment and your cup holder down below. And then you see you have the black, but then you also have the wood grain. So you have the black, wood grain, and the tan throughout. Now, taking a look here at that inspection form I was just referencing, you can see you are at 10 and 8 30 seconds for your tires. You are at 12 30 seconds for your brake pads. All green checks, so you are good to go. The vehicle did just receive a new PA state inspection. We do guarantee Maryland state inspection. Uh, and it also received a fresh oil change. You have powered um, sliding doors, so simply pull the lever and the door will open itself. You will still have the manual adjustments as far as your seats are concerned. Have the storage compartments here in the back, both the driver and the passenger seat. Two cup holders here. You also have two cup holders in this center console between the two captain seats, as well as the storage compartment. You can see up here that you are going to have your climate zones back here, and that can be set right here. Gonna just slide the seat up for a second to show you the back seat. So you'll have the two captain seat, plus you'll have the five seats in the back. You do have two cup holders on both sides. So you have plenty of cup holders throughout this particular vehicle. And you actually have a good bit of leg room back here for those back seat or the back row passengers. Going to go ahead and shut this. Now, as far as the back is concerned, you can see that you do have the SV for the trim level. It is a Nissan Quest. Now this back gate is not powered, so you will have to lift that. Do you have plenty of room back here um, for additional storage, so groceries, whichever the case may be. If you are not utilizing this back seat, you can fold it down for additional um, storage. You simply pull this and then you can push this forward and it will fall down. I'm not going to let it fall down because I still have to show you the back side of the other, um, of the driver's side, but very easy to lay down. Those two seats fold down together. This one goes by itself. So even if you just need one, um, you can do that as well. We will take a quick look here in the back driver's side. Again, you still have those proximity locks, which are right there. Showing you here that you have the same exact view from this side as you do from the other side. Okay. We'll go ahead and shut that. All right, so driver's side. You'll have your powered locks, windows, and your mirror adjustments. You will still have manual seat adjustments. Left side here, you'll have your powered door, as well as your traction control, gas pump, and your hood pop. Here is where you would be able to open and close um, the sliding doors from the driver's seat. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in here and turn it on. It is a push to start, foot on the brake, push the button. 
You do get two keys with the purchase of the vehicle, so you will have these here. You can also open the doors from this as well. So we'll shut this. Left side of your steering wheel, you are going to have your volume displays um, or your volume adjustments, your display options up here, and your Bluetooth. On the right side, you're going to have all your cruise control settings. Taking a look up here in the dash, uh, you can see 83,373 miles on this particular vehicle. So again, 2017, 83,000 miles on it. I did mention the push to start. You also have your four-way flash here. You'll have all of your AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities here, as well as your CD player. Over here, you'll have your, um, your scanning mode so you can find whichever station works best for you, as well as your volume displays. Down here, you'll have all of your heating and cooling options. So we'll go ahead and kick that on. 60 degrees sounds good because it's pretty hot outside today. Um, all of your drive modes are going to be located right here. And then you'll have cup holders down here that can pop out, which is always nice. They will slide in then too. So if you want them out of your way, you can do that. And then you'll also have a storage compartment down here. You can set your phone or your key in here. Two cup holders. Another little storage area with a charging USB and aux port. Taking a look here at your Carfax history report, showing you that there has been a minor incident on the vehicle, and it has had one owner. It was commercial use. Showing you details for um, the minor incident it was to the rear, but it does state here that the minor damage is just usually cosmetic including dents or scratches to the vehicle's body so something that's probably very easy to fix touch up paint um, pop the dent anything like that there was only oops, I apologize there was another one then as well to the right side again marked as minor um, so nothing that's going to um, compromise the integrity or anything like that of the vehicle just a little a little scuff probably could have like side swipe something just scratching it so um we're gonna take a look at the exterior here any dense things imperfections now i will say just the interior no sort of smells or odors coming from the vehicle just anything that i would have pointed out in the video just some slight wear again nothing that is abnormal um stone chipping is common on pre-owned vehicles so you do have a little bit of that on this particular vehicle which again extremely common you can kind of see them here we are in a well-lit room i am not far from the the van um within a foot so you do have to get close to be able to see it um and nothing honestly that is abnormal no like large scratches or anything like that so far you do have a little mark right here just a little bit of chipping here. Another one right here. Overall, the back is actually in really good condition. I don't, um, putting items into and out of the trunk portion is typically where you will find a lot of your wear and tear and stuffs. Really, the only thing to note is just this one here. And then right here, and then that one right there. Overall, the vehicle is in very good condition. It looks like it's been very well maintained. If you were in the market for a van, this could be a great option for you. Again, a 2017, just over 83,000 miles. Give us a call, 717-485-4224. Check us out online at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Or come down to visit the showroom at 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Thanks and have a great day.